Listen. Who art thou, O great mountain, before ever? You know why? Just in case you don't know, when you look at your fathers, look at the generations before them, they too bear witness in their heart that they did not amount to their truest potential. That there are certain things that they could have done that they didn't have the chance to explore to its fullest. And so when you want to make the most of the life God has given to you, part of the first things you must ensure is cleared from your path are mountains. The Bible says, who art thou, O great mountain before ever? Thou shall become a plain, a leveled crown. Listen, listen. And he shall bring forth the headstone, and ever shall bring forth the headstone. Thereof with shoutings, crying, grace, grace unto it. When you know, sitting here, looking at me quietly, you know that the jealousy of God is committed towards you. The finger of God is upon your life. You know there is a call on this life. And as much as you know there is a call, you can also discern a movement of iniquity in your member. There is another thing that is making you mark register of sin almost on a daily basis. And you can tell that there is a need to rid yourself of this compromise if you want to attain your full stature of manifestation. And something is reminding you that there is no time again. That if you don't grow out of this wedge of sin now, you will miss manifestation. That thing that is in your life is not a sin, it's a mountain. It's too small. It's too small a definition to call it a sin. It is there to obstruct something from coming to pass. There is a dimension of you that ought to be manifesting by now. And that mountain has made sure that you have never crossed that line. So probably the lifespan they allot to you is one week. You cannot go one week of consistency. And the day you want to break seven days, you will see the kind of pressure everywhere around you. All hell break loose. Brother, you are contending with a mountain. There is something that has vowed that you cannot go past this level. This particular point is where your spiritual work will end. No matter how you pray, you are praying, you are praying. And then you find out that that same, I told you, anywhere there is a pattern, it is the finger of spirits. It's a mountain. I used to pray before. My prayer life used to be on fire before. Now you cannot go for 30 minutes. And no matter how much you try, the only time you can stir yourself is when you throw yourself into the pool of prayer where other brethren are furnishing their altars together. Then you come and join them. When you retreat again to your conclave, suddenly you realize it's not in you again. Brother, you are contending with a mountain. There is something that stands before you and your priesthood and says your prayer cannot be as fiery as it used to be before. Now I will show you how you overcome mountains. How many people are here with different mountains? You go to ABU, go to Foot Mina, go to Kadpoli, go to anywhere, carry any results. The mountain is still standing in front of you. Say you are joking. You think you can use a paper to climb the zenith of a mountain that have stopped generations before you? Didn't you know that your parents had more qualifications than you? People had PhD and mountains refused to move. You, you are coming with your arrogance, your pride, because time has not taught you a lesson. You say that it's, it's, there's a way you dress. You know you are beautiful. Your beauty is nothing before a mountain. A mountain will resist you again, again, and again. And you will find out that even favor, hey, even favor, before favor finds expression, a mountain must be cleared. It is a mountain that makes your helper to never know you are existing because it stands between you and them. You can be neighbor with your helper, but he does not know you. You greet him every morning. He, his heart does not think about you. And he's going to help somebody in the other street. The, he, he has something he wants to dash somebody and your thought will never enter his heart. There is a mountain. There is a mountain. A mountain that makes him oblivious to your challenges. Tonight, <laughs> my sense we have to pray we need to pray 
We are not praying about the mountain. Just pray in tongues. Just pray in tongues. Don't confront any mountain yet. We will, we will discuss the way. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of this situation. Tired of this circumstance. Tired of this predicament. Make sure you are praying. 